Basically, Tesla is about trying to make sure things are good for the future on Earth, and then SpaceX is about a uh, good future beyond Earth, basically. Um, and so, obviously, we have to have sustainable energy, uh, both consumption and production of, of energy. Uh, so, like Tesla does solar panels and batteries, I think that's one of the key uh, ways to have sustainable energy generation, and also the batteries are useful for wind power. So. And then, the you, then you need to consume it via you consume the electricity, so electric vehicles. Um, and um, you know, I think you look at these things like say, okay, if you look back from the future and say, what's the fundamental good of uh, Tesla? I would say it's probably should be assessed as by how many by how many years did Tesla accelerate the advent of sustainable energy? Like that's like I would measure the goodness of Tesla in that in that way. And then for SpaceX, it's like okay. To what degree did we improve the probability of humanity being a space-faring civilization? The goal of Tesla and Solar City is to minimize the existential threat of um, of a delayed transition to a sustainable energy economy. The purpose of SpaceX is to help make life multiplanetary. If life, as you know, it is multiplanetary, then the probable length of existence of human civilization is much greater. So, I mean, think of like this, like the the, the unifying. Uh, philosophy behind uh, all, all three companies is, is trying to minimize uh, existential threats, that kind of thing. There are two, there really, I think there are two main motivations for, for Mars. I mean, w one is, is the sort of defensive reason of saying, okay, if, if something were to happen to, to Earth, do, is, is life as we know it, does it end? Uh, or if it's on another planet, then it probably doesn't end. A multi-planet civilization is likely to last a lot longer than a single planet civilization. The other part of it is it would just be an incredible adventure. Yeah. It would be very exciting. Um, and even if somebody never planned to go to Mars, just following the progress, I think, would vi vicariously would be um, quite inspiring. Yeah. Um, and I do think it's important that we have things that inspire us. It can't just be about solving you know, miserable problems all the time, because why get up in the morning?